Hi everyone, it's Kino here. I am at the Maasai Mara at Salas Camp in Kenya. This is a perfect class for you if you're just getting started on your yoga journey or if you just want to take it nice and easy. Are you ready to practice? Come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes, bring the hands together and tune in for a moment. Long deep inhalation. Let your hands rest down to any comfortable position and be aware of both breath, body, and the environment around you. Notice that state of awareness, which is underneath the mental noise, the kind of clutter of thoughts that often rests in the field of the mind and just allow yourself to drop deeper down, down in that space of sanctuary within and then allow your eyes to open. We'll begin with some deep breathing. So draw the navel in towards the spine and feel a sense of lift in between each joint of the spine, almost like the spinal axis is rising up out of the pelvic bowl. Then activate the muscles of the pelvic floor, the space between the sitting bones, which you might know as the perineum. Let that all knit together. And I want you to squeeze down the pelvic floor as you inhale, and then again squeeze as you exhale. At the same time, let your diaphragm be as free as possible so that the diaphragm drops down to the level of the navel and the lungs expand. Here we go. Long, deep inhalation. Long, deep exhalation. Two more times. Long, deep inhalation. Long, deep exhalation. Resonate the breath so you can hear me breathing, hear and feel yourself breathing too. Last one. Long, deep inhalation. Long, deep exhalation. Very good. So yoga is a journey that coordinates breath with movement to bring the mind into harmony with the body. And breath is a really powerful tool for you to feel that synergy. If you ever feel yourself stressed in a yoga posture, breathe deeply, reconnect to the breath, and you'll be able to take that tool off the mat into stressful moments in your life. Let's come over onto the yoga mat now and get started on the hands and knees. So starting off on the hands and knees just helps reacquaint the body with its relationship to the floor and at the same time gets you acquainted with bearing a little bit of weight on the hands. So let's just shift the weight kind of right and left and breathing inhale to the right, exhale to the left. And now see if you can go in a little circle. So we just go around and keep the breath real fluid as you're here. Let's just do one more little circle around and then let's try the other side. Start off going left to right, left to right and remember your pelvic floor and then let's take it in a little circle. Nice and easy. Really feeling weight distribution changing from left to right, from forward to back, getting you in tune with the body. Now, here we are back to hands and knees plank. So your hands are gonna be shoulder width apart, your knees about hips width apart. Grip your fingertips, let's widen the shoulders and draw the lower ribs in towards the center line. Feel a little bit of activation through the front body, almost like you're engaging your abdominal muscles. Well, you are actually engaging your abdominal muscles, but not exactly like a sit up. So you wanna feel a drawing in of the spine. We'll hold this for about five breaths. I know we've been here for a while already, but stay with me. Fingertips, your knuckles, the heels of the hands, the navel in towards the spine. Now start to activate your toes a little bit, almost like you're just spreading the toes apart. From here, we'll do these nice little spinal rolls, which will help you awaken the spine. Inhale, roll through the spine and expand the heart center. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone and gaze towards the knees. Inhale, roll through the spine, lifting the heart center. And then exhale, round the back, gazing towards the knees. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, roll through the spine, and exhale, gaze towards the knees. 
from here, let's bring the knees together and then exhale all the way back to child's pose. Start off with your arms stretched out in front and then relax the shoulders open. Next, change the hand position to roll the shoulders forward, working on that sort of easy internal rotation with no force. So you're not here trying to push the shoulders down, but you're just letting them drape towards the ground. The navel is still in towards the spine and there's a slight lift in the pelvic bowl. Now keeping a sense of activation in the spine, inhale, lift the pelvis up and forward and bear a little weight on the top of the head and then exhale, put your nose back onto the mat. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift the hips up and forward until you feel a little weight on the top of the head. Exhale down, now don't overdo it. All right, don't roll through the neck. Inhale, lift and just drag the body a little forward and then exhale, let's move it down. So you're feeling that there's movement potential inside the pelvis, lift the head up, slide your hands forward, forward, forward. Let's open the knees just a little bit and we're moving into the puppy pose. I love puppy pose to help open the shoulders and eventually to help open the upper back. Let's do the shoulders first. Drop the top of the head towards the mat. You can change the shoulder position a little, walking the hands a little forward, but keeping them close together. Then roll the shoulders open and let your armpits drape towards the ground. We'll stay here for a couple breaths. Keep it nice and easy. No force, no stress. Remember your breath. Long, deep inhalation. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Long, deep exhalation. Let's do that one more time. Long, deep inhalation. Feel the pelvis going back and up. Long, deep exhalation as the armpits reach towards the ground. And let's lift the head up, widen the arms again to about shoulder width apart, get acquainted with your pelvis, and then pressing into the arms ever so slightly, curl the back toes under, find your pelvis, activate the muscles of the pelvic floor, and then inhale, send the hips back and up. And you might wanna to walk to a comfortable position and just get that relatively comfortable. We'll stay here for again for a couple breaths. Work on the shoulder, so if you find yourself roll too far forward, get the shoulder blades moving away from each other and the heels reaching towards the ground. Nice and easy, again, no stress. Here you are just to breathe. The opportunity is to make peace with the body. The opportunity is to clear the mind. There's no competition in yoga. There's no best. This is what is called a non-zero sum equation. There are no winners, there are no losers. There is simply the tool of awareness and the eternal peace that comes from the practice. Switch the gaze forward and then let's walk the feet about half the distance towards the hands, then lift the head up and let's come into a nice deep squat position. Hold your squat for a moment and this is a good time if you have your hair down like I do, that might be good to put it up. Hair can sometimes get in the way of your yoga practice. Take this as an opportunity to again just work on the squat, sinking the hips down and back. The mind stays calm with a deep open awareness and then let's drop the elbows down. Hold it here for a little bit. That squat position is so important as you begin to work your thigh bones back into their hip sockets. Hanging out here is so useful. The back of the hip socket is the first place that as we age, we lose flexibility. So this simple movement can help keep you having the strength and flexibility to comfortably stand up and down from the floor, no matter what age you are. Now, let's slowly bend the knees, straighten them up, and then walk the feet in towards each other. You ready to work your thighs a little bit? Let's draw the knees in towards each other and then slowly press them together. Then slowly rise the torso up and let's hold on to the thighs and just press them down. Stay here for a couple breaths. We're working on the chair pose, which is Utkatasana. Think about drawing your femurs back, the navel in towards the spine and just get that deep strength in the legs. What goes on with the torso is really kind of optional. You can think about diving the torso down, that would send the hips more back and up, or you can lift the torso a little bit up and that would send the hips back and down, which is what we're going 
going for. Let's take the hands in prayer. Are your thighs burning? Mine are burning. And I want you to be aware of that. Try not to run away from it. There's no danger here. It's just soreness that might happen, strengthening that might happen. Let's take the arms open. Roll the shoulders externally. If it's comfortable for you, you could do hands together or it's totally fine to keep them open, but focus on that external shoulder rotation. This is really burning. Take your hands in prayer, straighten the legs, and let's fold forward. Oh, that's so nice to fold forward. Walk your fingertips forward. Let's step your feet back to hips width apart. And then exhale as you fold forward again. Drape the arms over each other and hang in your forward fold for a moment. Take the time you need to get acquainted with this position, using the strength of the front of the legs, the kneecaps are elevated, the navel draws in towards the spine and the spine releases out of the pelvic bowl. Then bend the knees, send the chest forward, let's hold on to the big toes. Inhale, extend your spine a little bit, reaching forward, and then exhale, let's fold forward, relaxing the neck, Shoulder blades down the back and away from each other. No force, no fights. Just allow yourself to be here as it is. Long, deep inhalation. Long, deep exhalation. Lean the pelvis a little forward. Let's stay for one more breath. Really regulate the pace of your own breath to calm the nervous system and concentrate the mind. Then long, deep inhalation, and exhale, let's take the hands down. Now step the left leg back, keeping the hips square and forward, coming onto the fingertips, and then exhale, let's sink that left knee down. Point the left toes, and then slowly lift the center of the chest up, and we'll stay here in a half lunge for a few breaths. Now check your distance here. So if your foot is really far back and the knee is really far forward, you're not gonna get enough strength in your right quadriceps. So think about planting the right heel underneath the right knee and so you can really strengthen that right leg. There may be a kind of blissful torture feeling on that left hip opening area. And this is usually your psoas or potentially your quadricep that's getting stretched. Let that happen and then lift the spine up out of the pelvis. We'll stay here for five breaths. So really count your breaths, regulate your pace of inhalation and exhalation, stabilizing that right leg, and now rising up the center line. Lift powerfully up and really focus on that external rotation of the shoulders as you rise up through the center line. The mind is calm, there's deep, powerful inner focus. If you're feeling like you have more space, more length, there's an invitation to press the palms into each other and gaze at the thumbs. Hold it for another moment, grow as tall as you can, and then exhale, hands back to prayer position. Then exhale, let's take the hands down, curl the left toes under, and then let's step it back to your hands and knees plank. Hold it there for a moment. Again, be aware of the hips. Inhale, let's roll through the spine, and then exhale all the way under. Inhale, let's roll through the spine. Exhale all the way under, curling the toes, sending the hips back and up, stepping up into downward facing dog. Getting really familiar with downward facing dog is kind of a neutral resting point to return to a balanced, calm, and equanimous mind. Long, deep inhalation, long, deep exhalation. Switch your gaze forward. Let's step the left foot forward the right knee down, come up onto your fingertips. Then lift that right knee up and send it back. Check the distance, the knee aligned over the heel, pointing the right toes and then slowly rise up. You don't need to bend back. Oftentimes we bend back too soon and you end up forcing the spine. So now think about lengthening up through the center line of the body, checking that the hips remain square, hands in prayer, and now start that long, deep inhalation, long, deep exhalation. Controlling the breath, regulating the breath, calming the mind, balancing the nervous system, then inhale, extend the arms and externally rotate the shoulders. You can really find that external rotation. Rising the spine up out of the pelvis, there's an invitation to press the palms into each other and gaze towards the thumbs. Hold it for a couple of breaths, 
nice and easy, no stress, no force, and then hands back to prayer, all the way down. Now let's curl the toes under, step back to your hands and knees. Let's see if we can come all the way up to plank pose this time. Shoulders forward, tuck under the tailbone, draw the muscles of the lower abdomen in, and then inhale, plank. Hold your plank for a moment, another moment, and then let's roll over the toes and inhale, upward facing. Big press with the shoulders, expand the front of the chest, and then exhale, roll over your toes, and you can step the feet forward to downward facing. Staying in downward facing for a moment. Let your mind be calm, deep, powerful inner focus. And let's switch the gaze forward. Move your shoulders over the hands and slowly inhale as you walk the feet forward between the hands, lifting the chest away from the thighs. And then exhale, let's fold forward, relaxing the neck as you go down. Inhale, let's stand up, leaving your hands by your side. Exhale, settle into the center line. Okay, we're gonna take a step out to the side. So inhale, step out to the side. Take your feet somewhere about three feet apart. Spread your arms. And let's hold this for a moment and feel the length through the center line of the body. We'll do the right side first. Let's externally rotate the right hip joint. And then feel again the spinal axis lifting up from the perineum through the muscles of the lower abdomen all the way up through the top of the head. Then slowly pivot that right hip joint back and start to laterally stretch the torso. So you can do two things. You can feel the movement inside the right hip joint dangling that right arm and at the same time elongating the left side body. Just feel wherever that right hand wants to stop, potentially on the ground or potentially towards the foot. If you're very far away from the ground, I recommend using a block, not pressing onto the shin bone and just dangling down there. Hold it there. This is relatively deep, relatively hard. Use your legs. Press into the bases of the big toes and remember, navel in towards the spine. Inhale, come all the way up. That was an experience. Let's do the other side. So you're here to feel not to force whatever you feel, let yourself practice being okay with it. Arms extended, arms extended, bringing energy and vitality towards the center line of the body, long deep inhalation from the pelvic floor to the top of the head, then exhale, pivot into the left hip joint and start to laterally move the torso, keeping the navel into the spine, pressing into the bases of your big toes, glide around the outer edge of that left shin bone and either just hanging there or potentially reaching towards the foot or the floor. Navel in towards the spine. If you're pressing down into the ground, try not to press, but just gently touch. Let this be strength as much as flexibility. So the navel in towards the spine, almost there. Feel the strength of the legs, feel that lateral stretch on the right side, get acquainted with the left hip joint and inhale. Come all the way up. Now slowly let's widen the stance. And let's turn the right hip joint out. Then bend the right knee over the ankle and we're in the warrior two pose. We'll hold warrior two for a couple breaths. Mind is calm, deep, inner focus, steady breathing. Then slowly straighten the right leg, turn it in. Let's do the other side. Left hip joint turns out, then glide down. And again, warrior two, left side, feel the strength of the legs. Mind is calm, deep inner focus. Constantly bring the mind back to just feeling if you notice yourself judging yourself or being competitive towards yourself or anyone else, just notice if you can drop that thought, change the game of the inner world back to feeling, breathing and being. Inhale, come up. Let's again switch the sides and now turn your hands forward, come up onto the ball of the left foot, and let's step all the way back to your plank pose. Spine plank, and then exhale now all the way down on the belly. Point the feet, we're gonna go into the cobra pose. Inhale, lift through the center of the body, and you can feel length and space through each joint of the spine. We'll hold cobra pose for about five breaths. One, long, steady and deep, 
two, lengthening the spine. Make sure the elbows are in front of your shoulders and that the neck isn't craning back, but that you're lifting through the top of the head, kneecaps off the ground, thighs are extending even though the tops of the feet remain on the ground. Four, we're almost there. Five, exhale, relax. Then curl the toes just a little bit and inhale, upward facing, which should feel a little easier right now. Exhale, downward facing. Stay downward facing for a moment. Widen the shoulders. Keep the mind calm and steady. No fight, no force. Just being here with your breath, with your body, with all that is. Come on, let's slow. <clears throat> And then let's slowly switch the gaze forward and inhale, walk your feet forward between the hands. Long, deep inhalation, long, deep exhalation, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up and stand for a moment. Gently back to standing. Then inhale, let's step out to the left side and we'll go for some wide leg forward folds. Take your hands on the waist and then inhale, lengthen the spine as you really lift up through the center line and then exhale, easy pivot forward, dangling your hands down. And then keeping the fingertips on the ground, see if you can line up the fingers and toes with each other. Long, deep inhalation, again, navel in towards the spine, exhale, pivot forward aiming the top of the head towards the ground. And if your body gives you the space, flattening the palms and rolling the top of the head down. Stay here just for a couple breaths, lifting the sitting bones back and up, navel in towards the spine, mind is calm. No fight, no force, don't judge yourself, but just feel activating the legs, maintaining deep, powerful inner focus. Long, deep inhalation, long, deep exhalation. Slowly inhale again as you lift the center of the chest forward and exhale there. Come on back onto your fingertips. Grab the pelvic floor lightly and then inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands by your side. Let's do one more of these. Inhale, extend the arms again separating the shoulder blades as far away from each other as they can possibly go. And then exhale, interlocking the fingers right behind the sacrum. Then inhale, lift through the center line without bending your back, just a straight up feeling. And then exhale, pivot through the hips and fold, fold, fold. You may notice yourself getting warmer. If you do, that's part of the practice. As we do this wide leg forward fold to help release the shoulders, you're gonna feel like you wanna pull your arms to the ground. Don't do that. Just let gravity work. Soften the shoulders and focus on rotation. So let the shoulders rotate forward. And eventually, with many years of practice, whatever tension is stored inside the shoulders will gently release. So you may be far away from the ground. Your head might not be touching. Just breathe, accept the body, be with what is. Nice, steady breathing. And then slowly inhale all the way back up. And exhale, come on back to the front of your mat. <laughs> Try not to lose your balance. You can feel when the legs come out really wide like that, it's almost hard to come back to standing. That's actually why we come back to standing so you can feel the hip joints realign. You can feel the inner thighs getting more attracted to the center line again. Notice the heating sensations in the body. That's why we practice this internal heat that begins to warm the joints up and help the muscles and the organs and the nervous system optimize health. Now, standing here, Inhale, raise your arms above the head, pressing the palms. Exhale, fold forward. Let's go all the way down. Inhale, lift through the center line. Long, deep breath. Placing the palms flat on the ground. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Hold your plank pose for a moment. And then exhale. You can do chaturanga, which is like a push-up. You can put your chest on the ground. Inhale, come forward to upward facing. 
Long deep breath in. Exhale, roll over the toes, step it forward to downward facing. From downward facing, we're gonna come to seated. So switch the gaze just slightly forward, then bend your knees, place them on the ground, cross your shin bones, roll over the shin bones, straighten the legs. Come to a good center portion of your mat and flex your toes open, hands next to the pelvis. The chin is down and the chest is elevated. This is Dandasana position. Use this to lift the spine up and forward. And if the back is very rounded, you might find that sitting on a towel to elevate the sitting bones just a little could be helpful. Gazing towards the nose tip, mind is calm, deep inner focus, long deep inhalation, kneecaps are elevated, long deep exhalation, slowly pivot a little forward, long deep inhalation, Long, deep exhalation, allow the spine to relax, pivoting from deep in the center of the pelvis, holding on to your toes only if they're comfortable. If you're more comfortable on the floor, stay there. No fight, no force. We're just here to feel. Long, deep inhalation. Long, deep exhalation. You might even close your eyes for a moment so you can really feel and tune into the inner body. Allow that inner feeling to guide you into a place where mind and body are in harmony and at peace with each other. Softening the neck, releasing tension through the shoulders, navel in towards the spine, and again, inhale, lift, straightening the arms, exhale. Let's draw that left knee into your chest, and then let's open as much as possible the left knee. All right, so we're gonna open it up so we have kind of like a 180 degree angle. I had to do some quick geometry there and I'm not sure I got the angle right, so it's just a relatively, relatively wide angle. So we're using this here to pivot now forward. So we're gonna feel the body pivoting just that little bit forward, taking the hands down. Now let's go for a nice, easy lateral stretch. Take the right elbow on the ground and Gently reach the left arm over. You should be feeling some intensity along that left side body. Just let that happen, slow and steady, spiraling along the center line using the right elbow as a pivot point, creating length through each joint of the spine, grounding the sacrum with the muscles of the pelvis, and then inhale all the way back to the center. Now let's close the hip joint and square the chest forward. Drawing again, navel in towards the spine. Exhale, gentle forward fold. And feel again that your sternum now, instead of sliding around, points down towards the right knee. You could hold on to the foot or you could just let your hands rest on the ground. Nice and easy. No fight, no force, just the breath and the body, just what is. Long, deep inhalation, every breath from the pelvic floor, long, deep exhalation. One more, last breath, long, deep inhalation, long, deep exhalation. All right, let's use the breath to come up. Inhale, come up onto the fingertips and exhale all the way up. Now, let's straighten out your left leg but keep it over to the side, so we're gonna do the other side. Close the right knee joint, and again, spiral it open. Keeping that heel a little bit away from the pubic bone, this allows you to keep, again, something like a very wide angle around 180 degrees. Then, pivoting forward, directly from the pubic bone, in between both knees, exhale, place that left elbow on the ground, draw the navel in towards the spine, then, Easy exhale, lateral stretch over to the left side. So this may remind you of the side bend that we felt in the trikonasana, or the triangle pose, the standing pose. Let that be okay. Remind the body of the similar feelings, speaking the language of acceptance, feeling each joint of the body. No need to fight, no need to force, just the breath. Softening the neck, potentially closing the eyes for a moment. Don't try to grab your foot or anything like that. As soon as we do that, we start to fight the body and instead just be here and breathe. One more breath. 
Then inhale, let's come all the way back up to the center. Now we're gonna close the heel into the pelvis and make a 90 degree angle with the shin bone and the left leg. Then long, deep inhalation and glide your hands forward. So orient your torso over to the left side and then exhale, breathing, pivoting deeper into that left hip joint. Stay here nice and calm. Long, deep inhalation, long, deep exhalation. You can walk the hands forward, or you can just stay where you are. The depth of the posture does not equal spiritual growth. It's just about opening the mind to deeper and deeper levels of inner awakening. We'll stay here for one more breath. Long, deep inhalation, come up onto the fingertips. Long, deep exhalation. Let's open that left leg. Open the right leg and stay here in a relatively wide V shape. So now we're using that 180 degree, potentially wider angle out to the sides, not 180 degrees. I'm letting you know how bad at geometry I am. It would be less than 180 degrees. So <laughs> taking your fingers forward, let the mind be calm. We won't try to go all the way down, but just gently let yourself explore. Where does the body want to stop? Hold it here for a couple breaths. Explore, perhaps this is it. If it is, let it be okay. Keep the legs active, but don't try to pull yourself down. Belly is drawn in, mind is calm. Just experience the body with what is, potentially placing elbows down, and let's stay here. And as you're here with the body, tune into the heart space as though you're breathing in and out through the heart. Let the mind drop you deeper down into a space of feeling and being so that there is just the breath, no judgment, no story. Get into that inner sanctuary of the heart, which is always pure underneath the mental chatter, underneath the noise. Now let's slowly straighten the arms, come up onto the fingertips, stay there for a moment. Long, deep inhalation, long, deep exhalation. Make peace with wherever you got to today. Walk the fingers up, draw the knees in, closing the knees, give yourself a little hug. Thanks my hips, thanks my body, you did really well. Good job, thank you, thank you my body. Let's cross the feet underneath, glide over the shins, step all the way back to your plank pose. So plank for a moment, Belly inside, get it nice and aligned. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Exhale, downward facing. Staying downward facing for a moment. The mind drops deeper down into those inner spaces of the body and also of the mind. And let's switch the gaze again forward. Step the right foot, left foot forward, and exhale, roll the spine gently down. Stay here, tucking the tailbone under, getting the sacrum really resting on the ground. And let's draw the legs up. Stay here for a few breaths, working Viparita Karani, which is a nice, easy, inverted position keeping the legs higher than the heart, letting blood and circulation return through the chin bones, through the knees, down into full circulation with the body. Deep, steady, resonant breath. Now as we're here for just a few more moments, let the mind be calm. No fight, no force, just appreciate this moment for what it is. Nice and easy. Now let's slowly extend the left leg all the way down. Gently hold the right calf muscle. Then exhale, let's slowly come up. Belly inside, mind is calm. No fight, no force. Stay here for a moment. And then inhale, right leg stays up and the head goes down. And let's switch. Take that right leg down. Inhale, the left leg comes up. Make sure your sacrum is on the ground. Hold underneath the calf muscle, and then exhale, lift the head up to the shin, we'll hold it there for a moment, belly inside, mind is calm, no fight, no force, just a little bit of core work, strengthening the core, and then inhale, head down, left leg stays up as you exhale, 
leg all the way down. Now let's bend the knees again, drawing again the legs back up to Viparita Karani and really use the strength and activation of the quadriceps. Now we'll roll through, we have an introductory to shoulder stance. Really get your position well on the mat. Perhaps a little more forward is good. Sorry, I didn't tell you that before. Now, legs again up and then pressing the hands down. Let's do it. just maybe one or two lifts so you get a little feeling of lift and you can let your legs come a little back and up. And let's do that again. Let the legs go back and up and then exhale down. Now let's go back and up and then grab hold of the pelvis. Lift it higher, higher, higher until you can reach your feet down over the top of the head. Roll onto the shoulders and elevate the hips. If your feet don't touch the ground, keep your hands supporting the back and keep thinking about rolling through the joints of the hips and lifting the spine up. If your feet touch the ground, you can interlock your fingers, pointing the feet and think about elevating the sitting bones. And this is Halasana, the plow pose, a deeply therapeutic posture to increase circulation in the body, calm the nervous system. You could close the eyes for a moment and just feel Soft neck, no force the neck. Almost there, maybe one more breath. Then exhale, open the shoulders. And let's roll gently down. Bend the knees. Cross the feet, let's maybe scoot back onto the mat. And you can cross the feet, opening the knees outward. Coming up onto the elbows. And then top of the head rests towards the ground. Placing the hands on the thighs, lifting the chest. Stay here for a few breaths. Lifting the spine up out of the pelvis. Mind is calm. It's almost like a counter stretch to the shoulder stand. So you can feel length coming back in the cervical spine. Give a little press onto the thighs and think about lifting the spine up and out of the pelvis. One more breath and then draw the knees in, roll the spine down. Stay in constructive rest position for a moment. Feel both breath and body coming to a point of rest. We're almost done. One last movement, extend the left leg, draw the right knee into your chest, and let's go for easy reclining twists. Extending the right arm as the belly draws in, Left leg is nice and stable, toes are pointed. Remember, there's no competition, there's no judgment, there is just the breath and the body. If you notice yourself thinking judgmental thoughts, just label judgment. Come back to breath and body. If you notice yourself getting frustrated, notice frustration. Back to breath and body. Once you can be in the space of what is, You'll experience the freedom that is the natural state of the mind. Now let's switch the sides, draw the right knee into your chest, and then switch, exhale, left knee into the chest, and then glide all the way over, gently extending that left arm, both toes, both feet with toes pointed, activation of the pelvic floor, and again, what is simply is. You may notice that the body has different places where tension is stored. The purpose of yoga is not to go in and try to force the tension to release, but instead to just feel what is. Automatically, whatever tension is in the body and the mind will unwind, as long as you don't put more attention towards it or hold on to it or force it. Pure awareness is non-attached and sets you free. Let's come on back down, stretch out the legs and find a good space on your mat. Opening the legs, opening your hands. And here as we take rest, bring your attention to your heart center. Feel that space behind the sternum. And now with deep heart-centered awareness, let every breath come in and out through the heart. Long inhalations, long exhalations, in and out through the heart. So that as you breathe in, you can feel the heart receiving nourishment, healing. As you breathe out, 
You can feel love, kindness, generosity blanketing your own body. Let that happen a few times, breathing in healing, energy, restoration, and as you breathe out, kindness, generosity, love, first towards yourself, then outwards. Noticing how the breath can contain infinite amounts of space, how breath is really a non-local expression of consciousness. As you breathe in and out, you feel a connection really to all things, all beings. Moving your attention to the heart space, notice how the mind and the breath can connect you with all the human beings on the whole planet, in every country, speaking every language, all the animals on the whole planet, wild animals roaming freely, cherished pets, and animals who are used in industry. In your connection with all beings, feel the dissolution of the selfishness of the ego, and feel the selflessness of the true light within. A long, deep inhalation, start to wiggle the fingers and toes, hands and feet, let's bend the knees and the elbows, feel yourself refreshed and renewed. And let's draw the knees into your chest, give yourself a little gentle squeeze in as you roll over to the side. And let's come on back up to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes for a moment. The spine is long and straight. Open the palms, pressing the tips of the index fingers and the thumbs together. Concentrate and feel the breath as you breathe up through the center of the spine. And you breathe out through the center of the spine. Feel yourself recharged, renewed, grateful for the gift of life, connected to all beings. Breathing at one with the heartbeat of the universe, breathing in tune with the truth of who you really are. Bring your hands together. May all beings throughout time and space, may all beings live in harmony. May all be happy, be peaceful, be free from suffering. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you carry the inspiration to practice every day. I hope you've enjoyed this class. Be sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know what other kinds of classes you'd like to have from me. It's been my pleasure to share this practice from beautiful Kenya with you. Namaste.